backyard. Right up and over the fence. Lots. There's the van and the drifts at the side of the house. And Daisy. Top of the van is, let's see, uh, right there. Oh, it's cold. And I've walked through here once already, and it's up to my knees. Pretty on the trees, so. though. wait till he finishes with his pass because it just blows. I think we'll need more than a brush to clean the van off. And it's between the house and opening. Pretty pretty trees. Lots of snow. Not as much as Newfoundland got, but here's our front yard. Drift is as high. It's higher over there, almost as tall as me. It's cold. And Kyle won't be going anywhere. Until he gets the snowblower out. Because it's as high as the hood on his car. Top of my coat is lower than the snow. The bottom of my coat. Oh, gonna have to fill it. Gonna have to empty the snow feeder, the bird feeder, before I fill it. I think. Is gonna have to be tied up because he'll climb out the yard.
minus 20, minus it didn't seem that 33 cold. wind chill, Until according the snow to from this. Kent's blowing hit me? Yeah. Oh, I'm not blowing the glow yet. Yeah, because yeah, it's he's blowing it this way again. You might be done. This blower's still running, or is it the other ones? This guy's blowing too. All right. Oh. What's his name? Peter. Peter. They have a snow blower. I was going to offer if they didn't. But... <laughs> he was offering you. What? You were? No, you said I said you oh. were offering Kyle. But theirs is easy to do because it's not very that much. Eh? Like, and it's just... Well, what's his name? Has come across to come. Neil. Neil, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Yep, not quite a blizzard here, folks. But they also have a long driveway to do themselves. Let's see if I can get this to focus here. A short one, and it's paved underneath, so it's not so bad. Yeah. To be officially considered a blizzard, a storm requires wind speeds of at least 40 kilometers an hour, visibility reduced to at least 400 meters, and it must be sustained for a minimum of four hours. We didn't have a blizzard. Visibility did drop as low as 200 meters and winds peaked at 74, but the condition lasted just 3 hours 51 minutes. In other words, according to the mailman, or the, the, the uh, according to the weatherman, uh, it's not a blizzard because of this. So, any you guys get any storms, you call them blizzards, we have criteria that we go by. So this was just winter snow. It's not a blizzard. Anyway. I'm going to go out in a few minutes and... and uh, Take a look at it. Up in the 40s. They broke world record. World record? Or a record for themselves, yeah. And now we've just lost power. They just barely beat it, but like 40, so. 41 degrees Celsius. What? Just put toast in. Well, it'll, oh, it'll be toasting. It. It's a brownout. Or those lights are really slow starting again. Anyway, so the power's back on, didn't stay off very long, but I had videos loading, so. If I recall, though, I'm loading them using Google Chrome, so you can resume. I just haven't figured out how to do that yet. Anyway, catch up with you in a bit. This was not a blizzard. Neighbors snow blowing. Neighbors snow blowing. Neighbors slow blowing. It's the other winter pastime besides hockey when you're in Manitoba. So Amber took some video of this earlier. So, there's our van. And I think you can see by the height. Now Kyle parked his... Just not cutting. So the drift in front of Kyle's car is basically level with his hood. 
see if we can get out to the street. Uh, as you can see, I'm almost up to my waist in snow here. Ah, there we go. This looks more like what happens every time we get snowfall. We've had abnormal for a few years. There's our new neighbors, they're snow blowing. I don't think you'll be driving as Harley anytime soon. And uh, blowing there and because our road faces almost north south most of the wind blows straight down and then uh, gets trapped by the um, the bend at the end of the bay so a little bit of snow Go and check where uh, the edge of my property on my neighbor's driveway here. We always get a big drift. It always goes across his driveway and then across ours. So I'm holding this at eye level right now. So this is about five feet. And uh, as you can see, looking across the yard, there's one of my Datsuns. Kyle's car behind that and the Ford pickup truck on the other side. A little bit of snow. Up for it. Morning. Morning. Isn't this nice weather? What the heck? Isn't this nice weather? Oh, beautiful. We got spoiled by last year. Yeah, I don't know when the last time I saw this one playing around this, but uh, yeah, a couple of winters. Uh, is that a new one? Uh, I, had, I got it last year. Uh, never got to use it. Well, when the snow gets packed down, you're not going to get a machine that's going to blow it unless it's a PTO driven thing. Oh, that's right. So, uh, I just have to shovel it down, and like I say, at least I can try and work it forward to the street here, eh? Yeah. Like I say, it's, uh... Yeah. 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 Well, it's only a minus 30 wind chill, so it's not too bad. Is that all it is? Yeah. <laughs> so, there you go. Minus 30. Yeah, it's cold. It's uh, definitely refreshing, especially when the snow from the snow blowers is airborne and hits you in the face. Back in without falling down. These legs of mine. Uh, yeah, that's about a 
three foot drift in front of his car. Five and a half feet right here. Uh, that wind is biting. My hands are getting cold. Why? No mitts. And uh, cold enough I had to wear a block heater. And uh, cold enough I actually zipped up my fleece. So there you have it, a little bit of winter weather from just outside Winnipeg, Manitoba, January 2013. Take it easy and have a good one. That's the bobcat and the loader beside each other talking. Go. It's up to about Kyle's ear, and he's about five foot ten. So a little bit of snow in the driveway, not bad. And the drift is right up, literally to the up onto the top of the car here. So this is more like a kind of winter we have for snow, but it's usually just little bits at a time. What? He doesn't like the cab on it. It's hard to push it. With the cab? No, the same. no. I was going to put weight on the back or on the front. That light's not going to last long because the lens fell off. Eh? Yeah. So it'll, it'll burn out. And he's trying to blow it down so it doesn't blow into uh, Peter's. Yeah. Peter's. But look at it, you know, you can't. Oh well. Snow blowing. Manitoba's other winter activity. <laughs>